when I went to the first lottery, like the room was just packed and everyone really wanted it so badly and you kind of get more excited about it yourself. And then you pass by the lab when you're walking in the tunnel sometimes and peer into it and it's just really cool to see what's happening. I heard about the glass lab before I came here, but I hadn't heard about the Forge or Foundry until I was looking through the freshman seminar programs and I saw the one that was modern blacksmithing. It's something that interested me, not just because it's something you can think about like in medieval times when they made armor, that sounds really awesome. But then you also think of the implications that it has nowadays. I'm studying computer science and these are just so, so different from each other because computer science is about just using logic and everything should behave exactly as you tell it to. Whereas glass is like, you have to pay attention to what it's doing and you don't have control anymore. So in one sense, you lose all of the ability of control and calculation and all of a sudden it becomes much more natural and organic. Most of my engineering classes, you're working with machines, which is pretty great, but it's a lot of precision where you're relying on really tight tolerances and, and you can be very precise in the blacksmithing shop too but it's a little bit more hands-on in a different way. Part of the reason why I enjoy it, not just because I like, like doing things with my hands, but another part is also just that it means that I can sort of express that more artsy side without actually being artsy, because I know that I'm not very artsy. I mean, to be creative, that's really what we're all here for. We all just we express it in different ways. I think the students yearn to learn, and that's, that just gets you so excited to teach. I think the great magic of glass blowing is that it teaches you to really read what it's doing and to ride with that and to think in the moment and to solve problems very much on the fly. You take this block of metal and melt it and turn it into another solid block of metal in a different shape. It's really kind of, even though we know everything that's going on, it's really magic. Heat and mass, transfer and fluid flow are things that are well, at least to me as an undergrad, they weren't so obvious. But I think when you see it in the foundry or in the forge, you see real obvious versions of those things. So it's a powerful teaching tool. MIT is an amazing place with people with all kinds of ideas doing incredible work. And our classes are open to everyone at MIT. I just think that enriches the experience in a big way when you get people of all ages and different backgrounds talking to each other and solving problems together on a bench. If you don't have that kind of tact with it, um, it's really easy for it to kind of go its own way and out, get out of control. So it's a matter of just paying attention and keeping focused.